Welcome back to day two of the uh, seven day challenge, how to lose a client in seven days. And today we're gonna to be talking about capacity based pricing. Two of the most common problems that most business owners have is that they don't have enough time and they're not making enough money. So today I'm gonna to fix both of those problems in one fell swoop or at least get you on the road to solving both of those problems. So imagine this scenario. Your average product costs 500 pounds or it could be a service which is 500 pounds a month and your capacity to deliver is 10 units. So you can deliver 10 clients every, every single month. Now what happens is, imagine if you had all 10 of these units filled up and we were making 5,000 pounds a month, but our capacity's full, we're working 40 hours plus a week to deliver to those 10 clients. Now one of the first things that we could do is look to, because um, uh, these clients may not stay forever, um, they may drift away. So we've got a great opportunity that as they drift away, we can charge them or new clients coming into our business a little bit more. So maybe for the next client which comes in, let me just draw these units of capacity in there. The next client that comes in, they pay 750 pounds. Now if you get to this point here where your capacity is very nearly full, um, you want to start planning on putting your prices up here and not here. And the reason for that is if you get to here and a client leaves, it's more than likely that a new client coming in has already been exposed to your price point of 500 pounds. So what you want to do at this point is start to introduce your new price earlier so that then when you start to onboard clients here and here, these two guys might go, oh, well, I've seen your new price is 750. You say, well, okay, did you see it at 500 pounds? And they're not getting a mixed message. You just give them that service at 500 pounds. But then what you can start to do is fill up your capacity at the new price. And then maybe if you want to stick with being a busy, busy business person, you start advertising a new price point here, but you fill up these last two blocks of capacity and now all of a sudden, we've got 10 clients paying 750 pound a month, which means we're making 7,500 pounds a month. Great thing is we're making more money, but here we still don't have any time back. So what you could do is reduce down your capacity. Maybe we'll have eight units of capacity. We'll still charge 750 pounds. And what this does is nets us out at about 6,000 pounds. So we're working 20% less and we're making 20% more. So we're making 20% more money than we were when we had five, 500, um, 10 clients for 500 pounds, but we're working 20% less because now we've only got eight clients on board. Hopefully this is starting to make some sense. If we wanted to just work I don't know, two thirds of the time or two fifths of the time instead of all, all working hours, could be that you could charge a thousand pounds per client and reduce your capacity right down to say five units. So we're still only making 5K, but we're working half the hours. And this is just a, and, and there will be a balance in your business. You know, it could be that smaller clients means um, you can actually make more money. So it could mean that for, I don't know, for these five clients, imagine if you had 50 clients that you could charge, um, I don't know, 150 pound a month to, for example, and you had the capacity to deliver that, but still work within this same amount of time, you would actually make seven and a half grand a month there. So you can, depending on your product structure, the services that you offer and things like that, um, what your capacity to deliver is, what sort of product or service you offer, you you can look at your capacity and your pricing and try and work less, work smarter, and increase your prices so you're charging a little bit more and you'll get the balance right somewhere along the line. So in the worksheet um, this for this day two of the seven day challenge, um, I'm gonna get you to think about what your capacity is, how much you're charging for your products or service, and what flexibility you've got within that. You can't just double your prices without adding any extra value because um, uh, if the market um, demand out there, if there's lots of competition and people charging, you know, it's a commoditized industry, um, you can't get away with that. But if you've only got to get five clients a month at double the price everybody else is charging, you could probably do 20% more work within that, give them loads of extra value within that extra time, and they'll get a much more, a much better product out of it. So people would be willing to spend a thousand pounds a month on you rather than 500 pounds a month on you. So go and download the worksheet. 
leave your comments and any questions you've got um, over in the Facebook group. And then I will see you for day three of this seven day challenge, which is one of my favorite topics called the pain in the ass factor.